Okay, so the uh, project that I started earlier with the Totino's pizza rolls box from Costco has been changed a little bit. Um, so I ended up, so I bought, first of all, I bought these magnets off of Amazon and I put three magnets on each side of the closures that was supposed to, you know, hold the ephemera pocket closed and then the, for the uh, outside of the box as well for this flap here. And three magnets on each section. So a total of six to hold each part closed and it they would not hold. So I got some bum magnets, so I'm pretty upset about that. So I have to uh, get a hold of Amazon and let them know that their magnets are no good and then go back to the original ones that I was using before. So with that, I had to decide and figure out a new way to close this beautiful little box up. So I went ahead with some seam binding that I got off of, uh, got through Polly's place on TikTok through her Etsy shop. Um, she's got some gorgeous seam binding. So I went through all the stuff that I had gotten from her and I picked the one that had matching colors. It's got, per the colors are perfect on this one that go for this paper stack that I decided to use for this project. So, and then I also changed it up to where I didn't bind the journal into the box itself. So you could actually take the journal out of the box and journal on it or in it and then put it back in the box. Um, I am going to go through here later today or maybe tomorrow and add some um, vellum pockets so I can tuck some stickers and stuff in the pockets. But for now, all I've done is the journal the box and I got some really pretty um, textured some textured some smooth fabric scraps that I, I cut out some fabric pieces out of my new stuff that I have um, this is all decorated with decorative paper so there's no fabric has been used other than the seam binding so you you open it up there will be a vellum pocket here as well as here and then this is the other box that holds the journal in there you open that one up there will be a vellum pocket here as well and here as well so here are the hold on I knew I shouldn't have used a paper clip. Here are the little fabric squares that I cut out to send with this journal. Whoever, you know, purchases this one. This one's got a, like raised flowers on it. It's pink with white flowers and it's really textured. This one's textured too. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, like tea dyed paper and stuff, but when it's wet, so it's got that textured feeling. These ones are pretty smooth. These two here are really smooth and soft. And this one's got the same wet paper texture to it. And this one is also soft and smooth. So I figured that, you know, with it being flowers and being pink and there being pinks throughout this little set, I thought it would be a good fit. Um, here's the little journal that I made for it. I did leave the, the seam binding that I did for the, that I did for the binding of it a little bit long because I, I don't know. I just, I'm weird. <laughs> and then I, um, glued, I put some, uh, little skeleton key on a piece of the binding ribbon and I attached it to the front cover and then I put strips of bling on both sides 
the only reason I did the key was so you could tell which side was the front and which side was the back because I didn't really do a whole lot of um, decorating on the inside other than on the decorative pages. So here you go. You open it up. I, I did put on the back of all of the decorative pieces that I used, which were scraps, by the way, that I used out of, that I made, that I did all of this decorating with, I used all the scraps to do this little journal, as well as some other hand-dyed papers and stuff that my friend Karen sent me. So this one has got a tea-dyed paper glued down to it. So it's not just no plain white stuff. And then we've got all of these other really pretty colors. Here's another scrap. And again, tea dyed paper attached to that one. So the whole thing is like this. Tea dyed paper attached to this one. More scraps. There's another one and tea dyed paper attached to that one as well. So I didn't waste anything. I made sure that I used all of the scraps for this project. And I think it took a total of three, four, four 12 by 12 sheets of paper and I still have scrap pieces left. So when I go through and I put vellum pockets in later today, um, I will probably um, use some of the scraps to make a couple small tags and put those in here as well. But I wanted to get on here and show you guys what I decided to do and how it turned out. And just uh, let you know that because of the magnet situation, I did have to change it up a little bit but it does not mean that you guys have to change it if you decide to try to do this project. You can still do it the original planned way. You just have to make sure you have strong enough magnets or the right kind of magnets because the, the batch that I got is absolutely no good. They are worthless. They won't even stick to my lamp. So there's no there's no magnetic pull to them at all. So be careful of the ones that you buy off of Amazon. But here's the full look as it's tucked inside. How cute is that? It's the smallest thing I think I've made in a very very long time yet it seems to have taken me longer than a full-size journal craziness all right i'm going to get my table cleaned up and get back to something else and i will talk to you guys later